who are concerned that there's now been a retreat by the Minister on what she uh, committed to. I don't regard it, however, as just a personal commitment from um, Minister Regina Doherty, but I do think that, because I, I think all of these things are parliamentary parlance. They say things and to get you to move on and uh, make commitments that they don't believe that they can actually uh, stand over. Now, she might disagree with me, but if that's the case, then we need an explanation as to why she's not able to stand over that commitment. Was uh, there an intervention by the Minister for Finance, for example, at a Cabinet meeting? Or did Leo Varadkar say, don't mind that, I got away, got, got away with it for a whole year without issuing a report? So you don't need to stick to your commitment on this one. Um, but we do need to know. We need to have the figures, we need to have a report, and we need to be able to verify what is being said about what money is, this is going to cost and how and where. But even if the figures are accurate, even if the 70 million and the 250 million or whatever it is is accurate, it is a drop in the ocean compared to what this state and this government and previous governments have done and are prepared to do to bail out banks, to pamper the rich, to look after developers, to look after the vulture funds. I could go on and on and on, but I won't. Uh, you know what I mean? But what I do mean, what I absolutely do mean is what I said earlier on. This is an issue we cannot let the pressure up on. People need to get outside the dial and protest on this. And it's not good enough to just leave it to pensioners. I'm hurtling towards pension age. Loads of other workers are hurtling towards pension age. And unless we address this now, we're all going to find that we will be impoverished by the time we reach 66. So I, would, I believe the trade union movement and all of the NGOs who are concerned about the elderly should take this up as a mantra and ensure that Regina Doherty finds the money. Minister, can you respond to these matters? I, 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 I wish um, the uh, various um, deputies would take the word of the Minister. We get, we've actually got a date of the 18th of January now. That's when the Cabinet Subcommittee uh, or the Cabinet Committee on Pensions is meeting. We've got that date, and uh, we all know an injustice has been done here. Uh, there is a report ongoing at the moment, as I said, within the department. They're looking at the various options. So, again, I would ask uh, members to, you know, now that the minister has given a date on this, and uh, it will go to government immediately, and she'll bring the proposals to the House. No problem bringing the option papers out. Okay, Deputy Hulstein's amendment. I, I, I wish um, the uh, various um, deputies would take the word of the Minister. We've, get, we've actually got a date of the 18th of January now. That's when the Cabinet Subcommittee uh, or the Cabinet Committee on Pensions is meeting. We've got that date, and uh, we all know an injustice has been done here. Uh, there is a report ongoing at the moment, as I said, within the department. They're looking at the various options. So, again, I would ask uh, members to, you know, now that the minister has given a date on this, and uh, it will go to government uh, immediately, and she'll bring the proposals to the House. No problem bringing the option papers out. Okay, Deputy Hulstein's amendment number four.